Hey everybody, long time no see. It's work from home Friday. So there was a lot of stuff I wanted to tell you guys about this week. I got a landscaping project, my dad's birthday was yesterday, we got the 720 project, and I really wanted to plug Louise Martin's VEDA videos. So how was I going to do all that stuff in one video? Well, I had this great idea. I was going to do this like newscaster thing where I went through all the stories like newscaster style. It was going to be really hilarious, except... My name is Louise Martin, and this is the Evening News. So the day before my newscaster sketch was going to promote Louise Martin's VEDA videos, her VEDA video was a newscaster sketch. Well, that's not going to work. Now this is not the first time in my life, nor will it be the last, that my plans come crashing down around me. But that's okay, because after much experience, I have learned how to deal with this. Along the lines of my previous video about how struggles give you the tools to deal with life. But you see, that's how life works. Yes, it sucks, and yes, it's hard, but as you get through it, you end up with more tools in your toolbox. Dealing with failed plans is one of the most important of those tools. So think of a plan as like traveling directions from point A to point B. Now if all you have is the exact directions on how to get from point A to point B, you have a plan, but it's not very good. There's no context, there's no flexibility, and there's no room for failure. What if something goes wrong? What do you think? The plane is going to crash and we are all on the ground in a thousand pieces dead? What if the highway blows up? What if a flaming meteor falls from the sky and blocks the road completely? Well, it's handy to have a plan B, but then you only have two plans, and that's not a whole lot better than one. Wouldn't it be better if you had the whole map where you could find your way around any possible obstructions that comes in your way, and who knows what you'd find along the way? You might find the world's largest rocking chair, or a beautiful vista, or a great root beer! When I was a kid, yes, back in the dinosaur ages, my family used to go on real live family truckster style road trip vacations, and it was not unusual for things to go wrong. But my mom would always call these failures an adventure. And this is how in the Ladd family, adventure became a synonym for disaster. But you know what? Most of the time my mom was right. When plans went wrong, we ended up doing something different, but it wasn't always bad. And I have to admit that all of those adventures were where all the best stories came from. Later on in life, I went on a lot of mission trips, and most of those mission trips were with teenagers, and teenagers are not particularly known for being flexible. So we introduced a new concept to our students at our mission trip orientation meetings. This. It means... Remember to be flexible, because plans don't always work out. So when we arrived at the church where we were supposed to sleep and it turned out to be locked, or the luggage truck driver got stuck in traffic for three hours, or the restaurant we were going to turned out to be closed, we reminded everyone, be flexible. So even though today's video is not working out exactly as planned, I think it's going to be okay. Now I do want to say happy birthday to my dad, yesterday. I want everyone to go look at the link in the doobly-doo for the 720 Project. It's a project to build a memorial for the victims of the Aurora Theater shooting. And go check out Louise Martin's beta videos. They are really good. She is stepping it up this month. <laughs> See y'all next time. From home Friday, time to bust out the formal way. So even though today's video didn't go exactly as planned, I think it worked it out, worked it out and over to the K. Uh, uh, go check out the blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna do it this time. I know I'm sorry about the last five minutes. Blah. Sorry, do it again. The driver got lost. The bus driver got lost. Today, 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 today. Uh, uh, hot dog. <sighs> And I do want to say, hey, hey, you guys, say the words. And I want everyone to go look at the com, com, nine, 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 n